Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. In today's class, in our channel, we are going to discuss non-conventional sources of energy, important questions. So these questions, you can see how you can get uh, questions from related units from this subject. So this subject uh, which you are going to for write your upcoming semester examination. So definitely today's class will be very helpful for your upcoming semester examination for the subject non-conventional source of energy. Okay, so let us start today's class. If you are not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Please like and share our channel. Okay, now we will start today's class. See, first question is explain the importance of uh, renewable energy sources and uh, their potential in Indian energy sector. So here you have to write about uh, renewable energy sources. Okay, what is the importance? And regarding Indian energy sector, right? In uh, how renewable energy sources plays an important role in Indian energy sector. All these things you have to write. So first question that is A bit, B bit. You can see explain the working of uh, sunshine recorder with the help of a neat sketch. Okay, so here you have to draw the diagram of uh, sunshine recorder, label the parts, write the working principle, how it, how it works and explain uh, the exact working of uh, sunshine recorder. That's enough. Second question, see here, give an overview of conventional and non-conventional sources of energy sources with reference to India. Okay, so as we know energy requirement is increasing day by day in our country and which type of uh, conventional or non-conventional first right first define what is conventional sources of energy and what is non-conventional sources of energy and what are the parameters comes under conventional and what are the parameters comes under non-conventional differentiate both the uh, types of conventional and non-conventional and uh, based according to our country right uh, or remaining points next uh, here so b bit is you are having one problem explain following uh, no it's not a problem explain following angles used in solar radiation analysis so solar radiation analysis latitude of location our angle uh, this is our angle our uh, our angle and uh, solar azimuth angle zenith angle and declination angle okay our angle so i'll repeat it once again latitude of location our angle and uh, solar azimuth angle zenith angle declination angle okay so you have to write all these things i think uh, each carries one mark so one two ten sentence is sufficient for this one next uh, third question give an overview of conventional and uh, so it is repeated okay so we'll go for the next explain the working of solar air heating process so you have, to, you have to write about the solar air heating process how air is heated with the help of the solar energy b bit describe briefly the principle of working of uh, a cylindrical parabolic concentrator with a neat sketch okay see each and every question you can see the importance of each and every question the name of uh, uh, specimen the name of the equipment is asked so it is it is always recommended remember uh, each and every member which is related to the solar energy so that what whenever you are getting a question you can write uh, you can recollect this member and uh, that equipment you can draw that equipment you can explain the working principle you can give good uh, sketch of that equipment and complete your answer okay next uh, Describe briefly uh, the principle of working. This we have discussed. Next fourth question you see here. List out the differences between flat plate uh, collector and concentrated collector. Okay. So this is also related to the solar energy. Uh, write the definition. What is the importance of this collector? Where how will this collector is used related to the solar energy? Right exactly where it is used uh, regarding this solar energy all these things all these points you add into this answer next to b bit explain the working of a solar distillation solar distillation system with a neat sketch so again draw the solar distillation system explain all these things 
Next, fifth one, discuss various biomass resources used for production, used for production of biomass energy. So, write about various biomass, okay. So, we know biomass, how we get, uh, it is the decomposition of cow dung or buffalo dung, animal waste, by that, write all the points coming under this biomass. Next to here, one problem is the calculate the volume of cow dung based uh, biogas, biogas plant to meet cooking requirement of 5 persons to 30 per day and the lighting of uh, 300 CP mantle lamps uh, consuming 120 per hour for 3 hours. Also calculate the required number of cows uh, to run the plant in case cow dung produced is 1 kg per day and collection efficiency is 70 percent percentage of solid is 16 per 16 percent and production of uh, gas from solid is 340 per kg okay so like that uh, the problem will be asked okay so this problem also we'll discuss in our upcoming classes okay definitely one or two problems will be asked from this uh, solar energy or this uh, wind or from this uh, cycle and cycle is there no from this cycle or you may get a problem or small derivation regarding this uh, biomass okay right and geothermal also next uh, sixth question classify geothermal energy uh, harnessing techniques and explain the working of hot dry rock geothermal source power plant okay so again draw the diagram of this hot dry rock geothermal and explain all the points coming under these things next uh, one problem is there a deep ocean wave of 2 meter peak appears at a speed of uh, 8 seconds find the wavelength phase velocity and power associated with the wave at this power rate what is the average uh, annual wave energy in uh, uh, mwh per meters okay so like that you will get a problem uh, we will discuss these problems in our upcoming classes next describe various energy extraction technologies used with uh, hydrothermal resources next describe the working of an open cycle otec plant what are the advantages and disadvantages of otec plant so write about uh, otec write the advantages and disadvantages next what is need of need for dec okay what is need for dec next explain the basic principles of a magneto hydrodynamic uh, power that is mht conversion system so draw the diagram of this mht show the show the layout and uh, explain all the things which coming under this mht ninth one uh, draw it uh, short note on seabag seabag uh, Peltier and fuel cells. Okay, Seebeck, Peltier and fuel cells. Last question is explain the Carnot cycle. Okay, so like that, uh, these are the important questions which we collected from a previous year's question paper. So, that's all, friends, for today's class. If you are having any doubts, please post in the comments box. If you need any additional information regarding this non conventional sources of energy, please post in the comment box. I will give you a reply. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe our channel, please like and share our channel. Please discuss with your friends regarding the class for going on in our channel. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.